couple's dream wedding turning into a nightmare after they found out their venue is closed just weeks ahead of their big day. 12 News' is Gabriela Garza joining us live at the downtown Hampton Inn. And Gabby, as we know, that's currently closed for renovations. Right, Liana, you walk up to those front doors, There's, they're locked. The lobby is a complete ghost town. And as you mentioned, that one Milwaukee couple set to get married on the sixth floor venue event center. Now, this is supposed to be the happiest moments of their life. And right now, it's the worst. It's a nightmare. It's horrible. Pam Hullum and her fiance were set to get married on May 28th, just weeks away, hosting their wedding reception at sixth floor, which operates inside the Hampton Inn and Suites building. At the end of April, she was contacted by the venue owner and was told that the hotel would be closing their doors for renovations indefinitely, putting her reception and dozens of others in limbo. With just weeks until their wedding, the bride and groom were left scrambling to rebook 150 guests, find a new reception location and try to get their money back. Thousands of dollars were already spent. The wedding reception of her dreams obliterated and the hotel won't give her any clear answers. It's as if they don't care. You know, they don't care that I pre-planned, spent this money and everything, everything was in place. And now it's just, it's a nightmare. It's, it's all over the place. Nothing's getting done. No, no help. No one's answering. They're just, oh, the voicemail's full, or we can't do anything. Well, Holland tells us that she has worked with the venue owner to find a new location for her reception. However, she says there's still a lot of unanswered questions and unresolved issues that she's still looking to get answered, to get fixed, as she's approaching her wedding date in just a couple of weeks. Yeah, Gabby, what a nightmare, especially like you mentioned there, their wedding date uh, in just a couple of weeks. So we're, we're hoping that they find a quick solution and, and they do so fast. Gabriela Garza reporting live for us in Milwaukee.